Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Vera Change and I'm a beauty photographer and retoucher based in the UK. If you know my work, at least a little bit, you know, I love glowy skin and love the highlights and love the shine and everything that comes with it in my beauty pictures. I just think it looks very healthy, natural and you know, delicious. <laughs> I don't know any other word that will describe it a little bit better. Uh, so obviously I'm trying to catch the highlights in the camera and on a set. I'm gonna make another video where I'll be talking you through what kind of modifiers I'm using and what the makeup should look like uh, if you want to catch as many highlights, as many glow as possible. So you might want to consider subscribing so you don't miss the video when I'm uploaded to my YouTube channel. But Sometimes you can do everything right and the highlights just not there the way you want it to be That's when Photoshop comes into play and you can save and add a little bit more natural highlight and a glow in your pictures So today I want to show you three different ways how I'm using my favorite technique Which is a blend if to create a supernatural glow in your pictures make the highlights pop and Overall just make it nice and delicious. So without further ado, let's jump into Photoshop So here we are in Photoshop and I have this picture here I took a couple of weeks ago, actually behind the scene from the, this shoot where I took this picture is up on my YouTube channel, I will link it in the upper corner here so you can go have a look later if you want. Um, but let's talk about the highlights and the blend if and the glow and how you can all add it to your pictures. As I mentioned, my favorite technique to add a glow and natural highlight is uh, blend if and I'm using it in three different ways. So let's just start with the first one, that is curves. Click on the adjustment layer here and choose curves. And let's just make this picture grossly overexposed. So I'll just bring this point up and just make it like super white. And now double click on the layer and this blending layer options, it's gonna open up layer style. And here we get this blend if uh, window. Here is a this layer and an underlying layer. Uh, we are gonna work with underlying layers. So this is the layer that's under the current layer that we have this layer style open into. I hope that makes sense. Uh, if we slide this little point from the black all the way towards the white, it's going to disappear into kind of natural way. So. Let's bring it somewhere over here and then press Alt and click on this little point that will split in half and you can blend it a little bit further around there. Let's hit OK and here it is before and after. Now this picture already had a kind of very pronounced highlight over here on the forehead so I don't want to apply the effect over there, I just want to keep it on the cheek and on the nose and on the lips a little bit. So we have a mask here, all we need to do is just bring a black brush and mask it out of the forehead to kind of balance the highlight. So this highlight is going to be the same as this highlight. So it's gonna look much more put together, I would say. So here is your before and after. Very easy and natural way how to add the highlights to your pictures. Next way, it's going to be selective color. To use a selective color for blend if, go again to adjustment layer and check selective color. And we are gonna want to be in a white area. So you have all these colors in here, pick white and down this in the black, just bring the point all the way down and basically we are taking away blacks from the whites so the whites are starting to be much more pronounced. This is before and after. Sometimes, you know, this is going to be good enough. If you don't go too strong, if you go like just minus 10, minus 20, depending on the picture, it might work perfectly, but I like to add a little bit of blend if on top of it just to make it blend more and make it look much more natural so i'll bring the point all the way down and again double click on the layer to open the blend if options and for the underlying layer again we're gonna start bringing the point towards the white bits and you see how it's disappearing so keep it somewhere around here i'm not looking at the forehead or the nose I'm just looking at the cheek right now press and hold alt key split this point and blend it a little bit further somewhere around here that's good hit ok and now we have here before and after 
before and after again and uh, we can just mask out the effect from the forehead as I think again it's quite too much because the forehead was already highlighted enough we just wanted to add a little bit more on the cheek and the nose So these would be two best ways how to add, add highlights and glow to the skin and if you want to add a little bit local highlights, for example on the lips or on the eyes, uh, we can use third way and that is empty layer. Create an empty layer here on the bottom, take a white brush and let's just say we want to create a more highlights on the eye here. So I'm just gonna paint white color wherever I want the highlight to be. That's fine. And again, we are going to double click on the layer to open the blend if options. And by dragging this underlying layer slider until it starts disappearing and it looks a little bit more natural. Press and hold Alt key to split them and blend it further. Something about this. It looks very good and now I just want to keep it here in the middle uh, of the eye and I want to get the highlights all over the place so I can just bring a mask and invert the mask control and I and with the white brush I can just paint in only on the places where I want the highlight to appear so here in the middle of the eye it's natural the highlight could be there so I'll just bring it over there and here we go, before and after, before and after. I think this is a super easy and a super powerful way how we can add uh, some natural highlights. Uh, let me show you one more example. i finished this picture off, so I will go back to the curves and again make it grossly overexposed. Double click to open the blending options and just drag the slider until it starts adding a highlight only when the places you want the highlights to be added. Plant a little bit more, that's fine. Hit the OK. I will just mask, mask it out from the forehead as it's really strong over there. Something like that and also from under the eye here and I'll bring the opacity down a little bit yeah something like that okay and here we have it we added the two blend ifs for two different parts of the face and here is our before and after before and after if we zoom in you see the highlight is very very natural it only uh, applies to the places that are already uh, the lightest on the picture so you don't have to be afraid that it's gonna look fake if you're going not too heavy-handed obviously and if you split the slider just the perfect way you kind of need to get that in a hand or just see how it looks if you want to add more highlights with this blend if to different parts of the face or on the picture i would highly recommend to do it on a different layers so for example if you want to add highlights to the eyes and the lips don't do it on one layer split it do one layer for eyes and separate layer for lips just because for lips there might be a different amount of this sliding and blending needed to make it really look natural so you're better off to do everything separately so that's it there we have it it was super easy and simple and i hope this was helpful for you and now you can have some uh, nice and glowy pictures in your portfolio so thank you very much for watching don't forget to like and subscribe for more content and i will see you here next time bye